Okay, welcome to this lesson where we want to look at three questions on uh, ratios. Okay, we have three examples here. And I'll advise you to pause the video then you solve them because all these questions have been drawn from past exam papers. So maybe before you, especially if you have done this topic already at school, just pause the video and attempt the questions. Okay. So we can start with the first one. In an election, 80,000 people voted. The votes that candidates, so we had candidates A, B, and C, got were in the ratio 9, 2, 5, 2, 2, respectively. So respectively means the first one is for A, the second one is for B, and the last one is for C. How many did candidate B receive? In other words, we are talking about votes. How many votes, okay, did... Because these votes, they were shared by these three candidates in these ratios. Now we want how many did this one get, okay? So the first thing that you are supposed to do in this case, first of all, it's very important to pay attention to the question very important to pay attention to the question so in this case what you're supposed to do is to look at uh, uh, is to look at the to add up the ratios that's very important so we say 9 plus 5 plus 2 when you f add up these ratios what do you get what do you get? You're going to get 16, isn't it? This will give you 16. All right. So follow the question. Then now, the first one was very simple. How many votes did the candidate B get? So what is the ratio for B? The ratio for B is 2. Okay. So we are going to get, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. The ratio for B is 5. The ratio for B is 5. So we're going to say, Candidate, candidate B, the ratio is 5, okay? The ratio is 5 over the total of ratios, which is what? 16. We want now to find the share from the 80,000. That's what we do, just... Then at this point now, it's the question of us simplifying. You simplify. You simplify. If you want, you can start with the 8. 8 here, it's 2. 8 here, it will be this. Okay? Then you come back again. 2 here, it's 1. 2 here, 5. So the final one is going to be 5 which is this 5 here, multiplied by 5,000. Which is this 5,000 here? And what do you get? This is going to give you 25,000 votes. Okay? So candidate B got 25,000 votes. Next question. Next question. Four orphans received help from Lugwasho Masie organization for their education. In the ratio 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 8. Those four. So if the biggest amount was 24,000. If the biggest amount was 24,000. In other words, if this bigger... The biggest ratio here received 24,000. You need to pay attention. The, these people did not share this amount. No. This is the, the amount that was received by this ratio. So it's different from the first one. So if the biggest amount was, okay, 24,000 quart. Calculate the total amount contributed, the, the total amount contributed by the organization, okay? So, 
we have we have the amount of money here that was contributed by this organization and this amount of money we can we we do not know it isn't it we don't know how much it is we just know the amount that was received by one orphan which is the biggest the one who received the highest amount received 24000 so as per our tradition the first thing that we're supposed to do is what do we do here you add these when you add these what do you get they'll give you 20 20 isn't it mm -hmm. so we are going to get the total is going to be 20 now if I can take you to the first one, what did we do? We said it was like, uh, let me just write it here. It was 5 mod over 16 multiplied by, what did we put here? Okay. What did we put here? Then here we got uh, 25,000. What did we put here? What was here? The total amount that was, I mean, the total number of votes that they shared, it's what was here, isn't it? So it's like now, in this case, this is what we don't know. Okay, this is what we don't know. But here, for instance, for the first question, if they told us that B, candidate B got 25 votes, how many votes, find the total number of votes. So this is the case that we are dealing with here. It's like now we want to find this part. I hope that is clear. I hope that is clear. So even in this case, when you add these ratios here, all of them will give us what? 20. Okay? Then the highest got what? The highest got... The, so if we say 20, the total number of votes... I mean, sorry, so The amount that they shared, we were supposed to put it here. We were supposed to put it here. Then after we put it here, we expect it to get what? 24,000. So we don't know it. We do not know it. So in other words, we are fine. We are looking for this amount here. So I'm going to put just T to represent the total. I'm using this method that I think it will be simpler for you. Okay. So we are looking for this total. So what do you do? You multiply this, it's going to be 8t over 20 is equals to 24. Okay, 24,000. So at this point, if there is a way you want, you can simplify. You can simplify this just to make sure you reduce the work that you're supposed to do. So you can say 4 here, it will be 2t. And then here it will be, sorry, 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 for here it will be 5, isn't it? For here, I'm just simplifying so that we reduce the, the amount of figures that we're supposed to deal with. Then at this point now, what are we supposed to do? At this point, you cross multiply. So we have 2t is equals to 24 divide uh, sorry multiplied by five now remember that our job is to find the value of t so t you leave it alone this side then you divide by two this side so t into 20 into two it's one multiplied by five so total okay the total amount that they shared or Z, now we multiply here. 0, 0, 0. Then we multiply by, what do we get? Another 0. This, 60. So the total amount of money that they shared was 60. This is what we are supposed to do. This is what you are supposed to do. This is what you are supposed to do. As simple as that. Okay? So now, if you want, you can put this 60, where is T here, and remove 24. You see if you are going to get 24. And even if this is what we are given, then the question was asking, just an example, if the question was asking, calculate the amount, calculate the smallest amount 
So to calculate the smallest amount, it could have been easier. First of all, you need to find the total. You need to find the total. Now from this total, you bring it here now and then change it. You put two here, which is the smallest amount. I hope that is clear. So let's look at the last example. Twang earns 6,400 kwacha per month. Okay. She pays 25% of her earnings for water and electricity. She spends the remaining amount on food, school fees, and transport in the ratio 4 to 3 to 1, respectively. Find the amount spent on food. Alright. Now, if you read the question, it tells you that this is the amount that Twange owns. I mean, ends per month. Then, from this amount, 25 goes to water bills as well as electricity. Okay, then the remaining amount is what is spent on food, school fees, and transport in the ratios, in this ratio. So the first thing that we are supposed to do here is to find, to get, to get rid of the 25%. 25% of this amount, which is 6,000. Okay, that's what we are supposed to do, isn't it? Then after we've done that, then you simplify it. How do you simplify it? If you want, you can start from this side. You say 25 here, it's 1. 25 here, it's 4. Multiplied by uh, 6, 4, then uh, 0, 0. So 4 into 6, it's 1. Remainder 2. 4 into 24, it's uh, Okay, so what does this mean? 1,600 is what goes to electricity. 1,600 is what goes to electricity. Then the remaining amount is what she spends. So now we need to find how much remains so we can subtract now here. Of zero, zero. This is 14. 14 minus, we get 8, isn't it? Eight, then here we remain with five. Five minus five minus one. Okay, we get four. So now this is the amount that is spent on food, school fees, and transport in the ratios that we're talking about here. Okay, so now we are told that we want to find how much is spent on food. So you've seen we have food, school fees, and transport. So even in ratios, this is food, school fees, and transport. So the first thing is going to be 4 over the total. We need to add these ratios to give us 8. 8 multiplied by the total. The total here. The total. So the total is 4. You simplify. This is 1. Here, 2 multiplied by 4, 8, 0, 0. Okay? Then this is going to be 2, 4, 8. This is the amount that is going to be spent on food. Alright? The amount that is going to be spent on food. I hope you have followed. Now it is time for the exercise. Thank you very much. Let me give you an exercise. A very simple one. So we are doing question 9, this one, only, that's the question that we are doing here. The next question, okay, so this is our second question, this is our second question. So we get question 17 as the third question. So we also have this one now, here, this question, you'll get this one. Okay, you can submit this, the first four. You can submit the first four, those of you that submit. Okay, we can just at our own time also, you can find your own time just to, to revise on question four. 
Okay, just for your own. Okay. Question four. Thank you.